In this bonus video, we're going to do a lock repair for a Royal 650 Live View machine that doesn't close properly. Enjoy the show. What's up guys, Matt here with Galaxy Games 843, back with another video. This is a bonus video, we're doing a repair on this Royal 650-10 Live View machine. Now, for those of you that don't know, I've been struggling with this door lock for quite a while and I've never really quite known what the solution was to fix the problem. You know, other people have said you just need to replace a C-clamp, but I wasn't quite sure what exactly was, was the case. So today we're going to fix this problem. I did order some parts. I, I ordered a bunch of parts because I didn't know what all for sure I would need. I ordered my parts from, I think, uh, Vendors Exchange or possibly DNS Vending, one of those two. And basically, I also printed out an exploded view of the breakdown of this machine of the lock. So what I'm doing here, I'm removing a C-clamp from the external or the internal part of the machine. Once I get that off, I'll remove some other things and we'll slide the actual T-handle out. Then I'll be able to determine which pieces inside I need to replace in order to get this machine to close properly. So what's happening is the machine does lock at this point. It locks, it closes, but it does not create a good seal. You can kind of wiggle the door back and forth. And to me, that means the machine's working harder to keep the drinks cool. The drinks aren't going to be as cool. And you're going to be uh, emptying out that condensation pan a lot more often because everything's just in disarray. So hopefully this will make this door seal and latch properly and we won't have to deal with that issue anymore. So again, I'm removing some C-clips from the internal side of the pin here behind the T-handle. Once we get these two clips removed, and I'm keeping them in order by the way too, um, I think there's another washer and spring back there too. So we'll remove these right here. There's the washer, washer's coming off. We'll remove the spring next. And then we should be able to slide that T-handle all the way out from the front of the machine. So there's the spring. All right, so we got all that in order of how it was on the machine. Let's go ahead and slide the T-handle out. And we'll compare with some of the parts I brought along in order to try to repair this thing. So there we go, slide it out. I see a spring there. I see, uh, looks like some sort of locking mechanism. But one thing I don't see is a C-clamp. So way back when, when people commented and said, you're missing a C-clamp, looks like they were correct because there should be a C-clamp that should keep that spring with tension against the actual T-handle piece. So here's what we're gonna do. Like I said, I brought a bunch of parts along with me. I wasn't sure what all I'd need, so I brought some parts with me. We're gonna compare the two right now and see what the differences are. So here's kind of a replacement entire lock kit, and you can see there's a C-clamp holding that spring against the actual T-handle. Now you may wonder why I didn't just replace it all, and I will say the actual pin behind the T-handle was slightly bigger than the one that was in the machine. So the, it wasn't the right actual pin, or else I probably just would have replaced the whole thing with a brand new pieces like that. But that wasn't in the stars this time because they were different sizes. So again, I'm just do, kind of doing a visual lineup to make sure I've got everything where it needs to be. We're gonna steal one of the C-clamps from these pieces here. And I don't know if it's, uh, I think, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna steal this one right on that pin or if we're gonna steal one from my parts bag. But long story short, I know that I need to put a new C-clamp on that piece. And then there's kind of the locking piece, there's the other spring, we're good to go. So I think we've identified what the problem is. Now, like I said, we're just gonna kind of transfer some parts around. We're gonna take a C-clamp from that pin and we'll move it to the pin that's going back into the machine. And these can be a little tricky to get off there. They can be tight sometimes. And I might not be using the right tool, but basically I'm using a set of needle nose pliers and it's not wanting to pop. So I'm gonna kind of just kind of persuade it a little bit with a flathead screwdriver. And again, be careful, you can damage your hands or you can hurt your hands, so you don't wanna do that. And you also have to be careful too, because those things, they'll go flying, as you saw right there. So it did go flying, but luckily I was able to find it real easy. So there's the, the new spring, we're gonna leave that there on that piece. We're gonna set it aside. We're gonna put everything on the old piece and put it back together. So here we go. So spring first, then the C-clamp, and the C-clamp can be challenging to put on there. So we're gonna start it by hand. We may have to clamp it down with a pair of pliers or something like that. Yeah, it looks like that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna clamp it down with a pair of pliers to make it lock into place. And again, watch your fingers. You know, you can really hurt yourself here. Um, you can get, you know, stabby or whatnot. You don't wanna do that. So once that C-clamp's in place, there's another little locking piece that we'll put back on there. And then it's gonna go back through the front of the machine. So there's the locking piece. Let's put it back through the front of the machine. Here we go. And then once it's lined up on the back side, on the inside of the machine, 
we'll put everything back together in order that we took it off. So it's going to be a spring first, then a washer, then a C-clamp, so on and so forth. I think maybe there might even be two C-clamps. So what I'm doing though here, I'm checking the picture that I, I initially took to make sure I'm going to put things back together the right way. Even though I laid them out in order, I want to make sure I do it correctly. It never hurts to double check your work, right? All right, so spring goes on first. Next, we're going to add the washer. So there's the washer. And uh, once we got that back on, it's, kind of, it's time to put on another C-clamp. So here comes the C-clamp. We'll put that in place. And again, I might have to use the pliers to clamp it down. Let's see if we, yep, yep, we need the <laughs> needle those pliers. Let's go ahead and clamp it down real quick here. And it should just snap into place. Now, once that's on there, what do we have left? Do we have one more C-clip? I think we have one more C-clip. There we go, one more C-clip. We'll put that on there too. We're just gonna snap it down into place. Now, one thing I did, I did forget to put that insulator back on in this video. There's a little insulator that goes on the end of that um, that I do actually replace on my next visit to this location. So, did wanna let you know, you may, you may put it in the comments that uh, we, we forgot a piece. We did put it on in the next uh, next visit. But anyway, guys, we're going to lock this machine up, and it's going to work out just like it, it should be. All crisis averted, all, all problems fixed. The machine now closes and locks properly. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a quick bonus video on how to replace some of the parts inside your T-handle. Hope you found it useful. If you did, leave us a comment. Also, give us a subscribe. Give us a like. All that good stuff. Help us out. Help us grow the channel. But uh, with that said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to wrap this video up right here. So once again, guys, this is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. Hope you enjoyed the bonus video. We'll see you next time.